Hey, how's it going everyone? Saints fan here. Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Um, this is going to be the last one for today. I know there's been so many and if you guys missed them all, I did make a playlist for all of the executives and other criminals DLC videos that I've done. So if anything's confusing you or if you want to know anything more about the DLC, I will leave a link to that. You can go check that out. In this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the VIP status and like bodyguards and how that whole system works because I've been getting a ton of questions on Twitter and in YouTube comments asking, you know, how this stuff works because people are kind of confused. As you can see here, to either become a bodyguard or a VIP, you go to your interaction menu and you go to the Securo Serve option. Once you're there, you can either register as a VIP or you can look for work and that means becoming a bodyguard. Now, even though it doesn't say it at any point, many people have told me that in order to become a VIP, you need at least $1 million in your bank account. So if it's not working, then that's probably the reason why. That could be false though. Again, that's just what a ton of people have been telling me, but I haven't seen that anywhere. Once you actually do become a VIP, then you're given the option to put in an organization name. And once you enter the name, you are now a VIP. Now, you have a lot of options when you actually become a VIP. Uh, the first thing you're definitely going to want to do is grab some bodyguards because you actually appear on the map as a VIP and probably uh, most of the people in the server will come after you because of that. So to get bodyguards again, we're going to go into the interaction menu and from here you can hire the bodyguards and they can either be people nearby, they can be your friends, your crew members. Do note, and this is kind of disappointing, but you can only have three bodyguards with you. So honestly, the, the Organi the criminal organization, like, I don't know what kind of organization only has four people in it, but whatever, it's still pretty cool. Once you have bodyguards, you can actually go into the management section of your organization, and from here, you can see a few options. You'll have the names of the people that are your bodyguards. You can disable or enable friendly fire. You can, I'm pretty sure, change your name again if you want to. And then there's the style option, and this is where a bunch of the new clothes are in that aren't in the clothes shop. And as you can see here, I'm just going to scroll through. There's a few different uh, VIP styles, and this obviously will change the bodyguard uniform as well. It'll sort of relate to the, the uh, style that you pick for the VIP. But what's awesome is that each bodyguard, they actually have about three or four different alternatives to like the type that you pick. So not all of your bodyguards have to wear the same clothing. I just wanted to let you guys know that if you did really like some of the clothing that the VIP or the bodyguards wore, apparently there's a glitch to get that as a saved outfit, and I'll probably be looking into that tomorrow. So if you want to know more, just stay tuned. So once you have your bodyguards and your outfit set, next thing you're going to want to do is check out the VIP work, the challenges, and the abilities. So work, this the or most of these are against other players. The challenges uh, put you actually into a passive mode and it's basically you against a bunch of NPCs and then the abilities are just something that you can do as a VIP. So let's check out work first. So there's hostile takeover which says retrieve a package from a high drop or from a high security area and then deliver it to the drop off location. Asset recovery steal one or more vehicles from a police station and deliver them to the drop off. And again, once you do this, I'm pretty sure everybody else in the lobby sees it and they'll probably attempt to stop you. Now, these are the cool ones. Executive Deathmatch, declare war on a rival VIP and their bodyguards. And then there's Executive Search, which is super hard to do, by the way. It's hide in an area of the map and survive until the time runs out. Then there's Sightseer, hack the system to reveal packages to collect across Los Santos and Blaine County. And then finally, you need to be on your uh, private yacht to do this one. And it'll like announce to the entire lobby that um, you're starting and they'll probably come attack you. Now, if we go to challenges here, here you have auto buyout, compete to steal and deliver the most high-end vehicles within the time limit, due diligence, complete to find the hidden package, most wanted, survive a wanted level until the time runs out, point to point, complete a land race uh, across Los Santos and Blaine County, courier service, compete to collect and deliver the most protection money within the time limit, and then market manipulation, compete to hold up stores and deliver the most stolen cash within the time limit. So those are just some fun things you can do with your bodyguards. Uh, the work, like I said, though, these this is something that the entire lobby will see and potentially join you or try and kill you. So be careful with the work and the challenges are just some fun stuff. I don't know exactly, by the way, how payouts work. I was trying to figure that out, but we really couldn't like nail it down. 
payouts are really small i will say that it seems to be there must be like a starting limit of like seven thousand dollars or something around that limit because once the vip dies that will actually go down that will decrease so it gives some incentive to the bodyguards to keep the vips alive but I'm pretty sure every time the VIP dies, it goes down by 500. So like I said, let's just say it starts at 7,000. If you get killed, they'll only get 6,500. And then if you get killed again, only 6,000 and then so on and so forth. Getting into the abilities you have, you can actually drop bull shark, ammo, and armor for people. As you see, just pops it down right there. If we go back into it, there are some things you can call. You can call a buzzard, the turreted limo. Some of these other cars you can see some of them are free some of them do cost you can ghost organization which removes your organization blips from the map and then you can actually bribe a oh there's my bodyguard everybody you can bribe authorities and then you can actually spectate your bodyguards i don't know what um use that would be but you can do it and the the one thing be careful with the retire option i'm gonna go ahead and get in here but when you do hit retire you have to wait another 12 hours in real life to start or to become a VIP again. So just be careful with that. I mean, the one downside, though, obviously, when you are a VIP, you are marked and you can't go into passive mode. So if you're in a public lobby, many people will probably try to attack you. I don't know why it is so long. I kind of wish that would be decreased a little bit because 12 hours is a little bit ridiculous. Maybe we'll see that in some future patch or something like that. That is pretty much it, though, when it comes to the VIP status and the, your criminal organization. Uh, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. I'll be sure to check them out and answer any questions that I can. Oh, there goes my bodyguard. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, uh, so what, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of one of the work or vip work options you have this is actually executive search this is what me and a few friends of mine did you can see it is pretty difficult but it shows how it works you can see the circle on the map where you have to go and then eventually everybody will come there as well hope you guys enjoyed hope this helped you out a little bit more again more videos are going to be coming out tomorrow as well as i'm doing another shark card giveaway so stay tuned to my twitter for that but thank you guys for checking out all my videos today. I appreciate all the support. And as always, see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Where do you need to go? Hold on, before we go, I want to see what other stuff I can do. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, okay, shit. Go. Can you please get No, out? that's my shit. Oh, wait. I, I think it's shooting you guys. Hold oh, on. Get out. Mean? What do you mean? <laughs> you get in. Hold you on. Get Hold get on. I need to turn it off. Shooting God. friends. Friends and crew, <laughs> what organization, the shit? stop shooting the organization. We're, we're your bodyguards. Yacht defenses off. <laughs> no! That's nice. Yacht defenses just killed me. Yep, my pay rate just went down. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, dude, same. Oh. Great, I'm getting paid less now. <laughs> yeah, oh, shit, I fell overboard. Yeah, I, I fell overboard.